In the world of global trade, an unexpected commodity has emerged as one of the most valuable substances per ounce, cattle gallstones. These unremarkable looking lumps, formed in the gallbladders of cattle, are now worth more than twice the price of gold, commanding an astounding $5,800 per ounce in certain markets. The driving force behind this remarkable valuation is the traditional Chinese medicine industry, a sector valued at approximately $60 billion annually, according to the World Health Organization. These stones, when processed into powder form, are key ingredients in treatments that some believe can aid stroke recovery and other serious conditions. The formation of these valuable stones occurs through natural processes within cattle's digestive systems. Unlike human gallstones, which are primarily composed of cholesterol, cattle gallstones consist mainly of calcium salts, such as calcium carbonate and calcium phosphate. This unique composition results from the animal's specialized digestive systems, designed to process large quantities of plant material. The market's explosive growth has created an unexpected challenge for the agricultural industry. What was once considered a waste product is now so valuable that it has attracted the attention of organized crime. Sophisticated smuggling operations have emerged, utilizing hidden compartments and elaborate schemes to transport these precious stones across borders, avoiding both taxation and law enforcement. The situation has become so serious that some producers now face the threat of armed theft. Criminal organizations, eager to capitalize on the lucrative trade, have targeted facilities where these stones might be found. This has led to increased security measures at processing facilities and careful handling of information about gallstone discoveries. Adding to the complexity of this trade is the impossibility of detecting gallstones without proper medical examination of the cattle. This limitation has created a peculiar dynamic where the true value of any given animal remains unknown until processing. Some farmers have even contemplated artificial methods to induce gallstone formation, though experts strongly advise against such practices. Dr. Daniela Gomez da Silva, a researcher at Sao Paulo State University, notes an ironic twist in this story. As modern farming methods evolve to produce beef more efficiently, with shorter cattle lifespans, the occurrence of gallstones may actually decrease. This is because younger animals have less time to develop these valuable formations. The medical legitimacy of these stones has attracted scientific attention. Research from the University of Hong Kong has shown promising results regarding certain compounds found in traditional remedies containing cattle gallstone powder, particularly in relation to brain protection during ischemic strokes. However, these findings remain under investigation, and medical professionals emphasize the importance of comprehensive healthcare approaches. Conservation groups have raised concerns about the broader implications of this trade. While cattle gallstones themselves don't threaten wildlife populations, their integration into traditional medicine recipes alongside endangered species products has drawn criticism from environmental organizations like the London-based Environmental Investigation Agency. As demand continues to rise, driven by changing demographics and increasing health concerns in China, the industry faces growing pressure to regulate this valuable trade. Authorities have uncovered numerous attempts to adulterate genuine stones with substances like sugar or brick dust to increase weight and profits, highlighting the need for stronger oversight. For many farmers, particularly in Brazil's extensive cattle regions, the gallstone phenomenon remains a curiosity rather than a focus. They continue to prioritize traditional livestock products like meat and milk, viewing any gallstone discoveries as an unexpected bonus rather than a primary objective. As this unique market continues to evolve, it serves as a reminder of how global demand can transform previously overlooked materials into highly sought-after commodities, creating both opportunities and challenges for industries worldwide. For more on this story, find a link to the article on earth.com in the description.